In the course of Cumberland County's 250 year history, one of the interesting areas of study is our early churches. The churches were brought here by various cultures. The Scottish people, for example, brought the Presbyterian Church. The English brought the Episcopal Church. The Irish, the Catholic Church. And a free black man, Henry Evans, brought the first Methodist Church to the area. So let's take a look at some of these churches in the county. We're here at the intersection of Hay and Ray Avenue at the site of Hay Street Methodist Church. The first church built at this location was completed in 1835. The current structure was built in 1908, a beautiful Gothic Revival church with robing glass windows made in Salisbury, England in 1907. These windows are the only type of robing glass windows in Fayetteville where the folds of the glass are actually blown into the uh, figures, a lost art form. We're at St. John's Episcopal Church on Green Street. The cornerstone of the first church was laid in 1817. Destroyed in the Great Fire of 1831, this church rose up on its original walls under the supervision of architect William S. Drummond. Uh, the church is built in the Gothic Revival. The original church had one spear that had the town clock, which was consumed in the fire, and it was replaced by the, the current church. The funds to build this church were the efforts of its new rector at the time, Jarvis Buxton. He went north and raised the funds, and when he died in 1851, his mortal remains were laid to rest in the shade of St. John's Church. This is Campground Methodist Church on Campground Road. Uh, this church got its start out of Methodist camp meetings that occurred here as early as the 1840s. They formalized into a church, uh, which you see here, uh, built about 1860. We're on Moore Street at St. Joseph's Episcopal Church, the second oldest Episcopal congregation in Fayetteville. This was a black congregation that organized in 1873. They built on this site in 1896 a wonderful church that reflects three distinct styles of architecture, Gothic Revival, Queen Anne Turret, and a Spanish uh, bell tower. This church has three buildings, a sanctuary, a uh, parish hall, and a rectory. It has the distinction of being the only church in Fayetteville that has Tiffany windows and has one of the oldest operating organs in America. This is McPherson Presbyterian Church on Cliffdale Road. Organized in 1793, the congregation built their first church in 1800. And in November 1868, a new building was erected, the one you see here. Showing through the plaster covering the outside of the church are old, uneven brick salvaged from the United States arsenal destroyed by Sherman when he passed through Fayetteville in March of 1865. We're here on Ann Street at the First Presbyterian Church, organized in 1800. They first met at the State House. They built their first church on this location in 1817, which burned in the Great Fire of 1831. This church rose up out of the ashes in 1832 and was designed by the nationally known architect A.J. Davis. I'm standing in front of a sundial that was carved by George Lauder, the most noted stonemason of 19th century North Carolina history. The first Baptist church on Anderson Street was first built in 1837. The current structure was completed in 1910 and is built in the Romanesque revival style of architecture and features some beautiful round stained glass windows. In the early days of the church, baptisms took place in nearby Cross Creek. Port Evans AME Zion Church on Cool Spring Street, uh, the first church at this site, was chartered in 1801 and established by a free black man named Henry Evans who was traveling from Virginia on his way to Charleston when he stopped off at this place and realized that he needed to establish a church. There have been several structures at this location and Henry Evans remained active with this congregation until his death. Today he is buried under this beautiful Gothic Revival structure that was completed in 1893. His grave is located in the basement under the area of the chancel. The church itself is the workmanship of black artisans, both carpenters, and bricklayers. The unique part about Henry Evans' ministry is that in the antebellum days when the churches were few in Fayetteville, he preached to both a black and white congregation. As you pass through Wade on State Road 1709, you may want to stop off at 
Old Bluff Presbyterian Church. It's one of Cumberland County's oldest congregations located on the high east bank of the Cape Fear River. Old Bluff is probably the fourth building erected by the congregation. It is constructed in vernacular Greek revival style and was dedicated in 1858 and it is essentially unaltered from its original form. As we celebrate Cumberland County's 250th anniversary, be sure to stop off at some of these very historic churches. What we've seen today is just a random sampling of the many historic churches and National Register properties clustered throughout Cumberland County.